and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Brienne from Beyond Briation, and in today's video we have day eight of 12 days of Christmas crafts and today we're doing something a little bit different. We are not going to be making a card or a layout or Christmas crafts of that kind. Today we are going to be focusing on some embellishments and by embellishments I mean little poinsettia flowers. So I made this using my Cricut Maker. I pulled the design from Design Space or I don't remember if it was a design from Design Space or if it was a project. I think it might have been a project that was designed by somebody. Um, and this is, it turned out to be one of my favorite poinsettia flowers that I've seen the Cricut make or like the designs that I found to really enjoy. I just love it because the SVG in Design Space, it adds the little cut marks so that the flower has that additional texture and then it adds the score lines to again, you then roll it and uh, shape it and it makes the flower so dimensional and so pretty. I thought it'd be fun to put some of these together today let's get right into making some of these really pretty flowers. So I have pulled out three different shades of cardstock here. I do have, the one that I have the most of is this middle color here. Um, this I have tons of sheets of, but if you can tell on this flower, we do use a couple of different colors just to add the extra dimension. Um, so we are gonna be pairing these up. I'm thinking we will use this darkest shade as the base color. And then these two are going to be our top layering colors. So let's open up Design Space. Okay, so I have the design opened up in Design Space here. I have two different sizes of flowers that I am wanting to make, so I am going to turn on my maker, and I'm gonna make it. For this project, I know that I'm gonna need my scoring tool, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that put into my Cricut Maker. I am gonna be using a 12 by 12 mat, but my papers are going to be eight and a half by 11. And I'm gonna do that for both of these. And for the quantity of flowers that I wanna make, I am thinking, let's start by making 10 of each and then we can go from there. So we are going to need, let me just have a look here. Two of the lighter shade and one of the darker shade. So I'm gonna pull out my dark shade. And I'm gonna start with this color. There we go. And I'm going to put the rest of these off to the side. I'm going to continue. For paper, I'm gonna choose medium, and then I'm just going to increase the pressure just so that the cuts come out nice and clean. 
I am using the scoring stylus, so I'm just gonna select that in Design Space. And then I am going to load up my mat. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna click go. So now I have my backing pieces. Okay, so I did cut two different sizes. These three are for the smaller ones and these three are for the bigger ones. So what I do with these is I just take my scoring stylus from my Cricut and I just go around all of these and I just kind of press it into that center score line, just like that, just to give the flower a little bit of dimension. And I just go in and I do this for all of the petals of all of the flowers. Um, and then, so I like to do this all at once. And then I like to go in and build my flowers all at once. And that I find just, it's a lot more efficient. Um, at least I have found it to be. And I just kind of roll the stylus around just to give the petals dimension. Once they're all glued together, we'll be able to go in and fluff them up a little bit more. But for this, um, I just wanna quickly go in and give them all that little bit of dimension. So I am going to do this for the rest of these and then I'll come back and we can start putting them all together. So now that we've gone in and we have curled all of the leaves with our stylus, I am going to pull out my glue and we're just gonna start gluing these together. Uh, you can use hot glue for this if you want. I am happy just using my liquid art glitter glue for this. I find that it uh, sets up just fine. And we want four pieces in total. So we're gonna have one large one, one medium one, and two of the smaller ones. So I'm just gonna add a dot of glue to the center. And then we just want these off set. So each layer you put on, you want to turn it so that it lines up in between the other flowers. So we're just gonna turn this one again. So instead of putting it on like this, I'm just gonna turn it slightly so that it is a bit off center. And then for this final one, I am gonna have one of the stems come down here and put it like this. And there's our first poinsettia flower. So I am just going to let this set up. I'm gonna put it off to the side. I'm gonna finish making the rest of them here. And then, um, we will put the centers on 
and we'll fluff up the petals and we will add our shimmer to it. So let's just make one more together. So I have the base one and then I lined up the second one and I turned it slightly. And we're gonna do the same for these next two. just like that. So I'm gonna continue and I am going to get the rest of these put together. So I lied, each of the flowers gets one large one, one medium one, and three of the small ones. Um, and that is what they end up looking like. So then all I do for the center is this, I have this glitter and that is just from Dollar Tree. And all I do, I might just grab a scrap piece of paper. I'm just gonna use this. I'll just do a few, I'll just do two at a time. And I just add glue to the center. I am quite generous with this. And then I just sprinkle on the glitter. I do go in and kind of press this in a little bit because I want the glitter that's there to stick. And then all I do, I tap off the excess and then I put it aside to dry. Just like that. And I continue that process for all of them. And like I said, you can be quite generous with your glue in the center. It just means that more of your glitters are gonna stick. Tap off the excess. And then what's left on your paper, you can just put right back into your container. And there we have our poinsettias. So the last thing that I like to do with these is I have this Sizzix glitter. It's in shade glitter gloss. This is the aqua shimmer. And all I do with this is it has a brush tip and I just come in and I brush the petals. And it just adds this really, really nice shimmer to all of the petals. And I do that for all of them and it just makes them a little bit extra sparkly, which I think is really, really nice for this time of year. I got more glitter to come out, so I'm gonna just through these ones and just add that little bit extra. There we go. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I just go through and I just brush it on. I'm not looking to saturate or cover each of the petals. I just want a little bit of glitter on them all.
just like that. Don't be so pretty. And then all you have to do is just fluff them up a little bit more. If you want them to be a little bit more dimensional, just gently squeeze the petals together. And there's the poinsettias. So I'll have the link to the design in Design Space for Cricut listed down below in the description box if you're interested in making some of these yourself. I will warn you that the cutting process does take a while just because there's so much to this design. Um, it has scoring, it has, so it adds a score to the center of each of the petals and then it also adds the cut, the diagonal cuts that go down the petals and then it also cuts out the entire shape. So it does take a while, I will warn you, but I think the results are absolutely worth it. So I will put that down below in the description box if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed day eight of 12 Days of Christmas Crafts and we'll see you back here very, very soon for day nine. Bye.